Hey there, refurbers and scruffy looking nerf herders. It's me, scruffy looking RGB. And today we're taking it back to the most recent hard off book off where I visited the junk section and picked up some really cool rare Japanese game junk. I'll leave the link to that video in the description if you missed it. Today, we're going back to the same location. There's a whole lot more display case games and loose games to look at. Additionally, I'll give you a guide on how to get to this exact location. So stick around to the end. It requires riding the bus, which can be a little intimidating here in Japan, especially if you don't speak any Japanese. And I'll guide you through how it's done. So without further ado, let's get scruffy looking. Get off the train at Kashiwa Station. Walk towards the big camera until you see a bus stop. Stairway number two. Do not go down staircase five like I do here. If you come down the stairs in front of 3031 bus stop, you're in the right place. Get on the bus and ride it for about 10 to 20 minutes. Get off at Nakai stop. Head toward the busy street, cross it at the crosswalk. Take a left, your dream place will be waiting for you just ahead. Here we are back at Hard Off. They've got so many things to look at today and I'm gonna be swishing back and forth through all the things that they got here to show you guys what they have to offer. There's a lot of systems from new to old and a lot of games to look through. So without further ado, let's get scruffy looking. Return of the Double Dragon for the Super. Famicom, 5,500 yen. It is scruffalized a bit on the corners and whatnot, but that is a Super Famicom game that's not bad. They've got the, what's that, the Treasure Trolls? Troll Island Super Famicom Soft by Kemco. The, was it the Treasure Troll game? Very interesting. Tenchi Kurao for, I believe the Famicom, 7,700 for that. Majora's Mask. What is that in the back there? They've got Gun Force, Super Famicom, 11,000. Let's get in there. Gun Force, looks like a mech shooter type game. Some Karnoff, nice Namco cart for the Famicom. Gradius 2 for about 9,000 complete. Also on the Famicom. There's a Super Game Boy 2 here. Ooh, I've been, I've been searching for a Super Game Boy 2. And this one has the instruction manual. That might be worth picking up today. Urusa Yatsura has really gone up in price for the Famicom, I guess because it's complete. 24,000 for that. Oh, they've got Bokte Upa. This was on my 10 great Famicom games that are really, really expensive and rare. Uh, 33,000 for that Bokte Upa. That is no cheap game, but it is a lot of fun. It's very rare on the cart, much cheaper on the FDS where it originated, but very rare cart. Got Robo Kid for Mega Drive, Michael Jackson Moonwalker. That's another one I'd like to add to my collection if I can ever find it for a little bit less than that. I don't know about it these days though. I've got Valken Denset, so I believe that is for the Super Famicom. Uh, supposed to be a pretty cool game. 7,700. That seems like a pretty good deal, actually. Final Fight, Takeshi Meijin. We've got Sparkster for 16,500. It's just a loose cart, but I think that is a fairly rare one on the Mega Drive. We've got Operation, what is that? Vapor or Claw or Tusk. Some, one of those shooters. Mega Drive shooter. World War II Mega Drive shooter. 9,000, wow. They've got Tai Poo for the Mega Drive as well. Pretty cool though. Hyperia by Bran Ban Presto. This is an interesting action platformer. Some people have mixed feelings about Hyperia, but it is a really expensive Super Famicom game. Interesting one. What was that? For the N Polygon Stadium. 
Stagio for the N64 disc drive. 22,000 for that. That's kind of cool though. What did we miss up top? We got Popo Issei. Is that like Hebereke game for the Super Famicom? Turtles in Time, 3,300. That's not a bad deal. Rockman and Forte, always good. Um, what is that? Ogu Monogatari. Monster Monogatari, maybe? Lemmings 2 on the Super Famicom. Umi Harakawase for the Super Famicom. An interesting uh, Super Famicom game. Interesting dynamics and all that. DuckTales 2 up there. Oh, no way. Why? That is... is okay. Here we got... I think that is... Bebop's High School? 7,700 on the Famicom Loose? I don't know if that's like a rare version of it. Because that's like a $3 game usually. Interesting. I'm not... That's really peculiar. DuckTales 2. Fantastic game. Magic Darts. Ooh, one I'd like to grab here is uh, Mighty Final Fight. Really cool uh, action plot, not action plot, beat em up. Great Final Fight beat em up on the Famicom. Came later in the Famicom's life, so it's really a fun one to play. Really high paced, quick. YY World, another great Famicom game you should grab. Salamander, 3000. Always cool with that clear blue shell. Love that game. We have some really cool little Rockman figures. Very neat. Tetsuan Adam. Gragas Deluxe Pack and the Sega Saturn games come in here. A Power Stone 2, 3,300. Dynamite Kid, I think. That is the... What is that? Dynamite KG, excuse me. Like the diehard for this, this Saturn there. I don't know what this is. This is Gundam, Thunder Force. Which Thunder Force is that? Thunder Force 5 for 8,200. And you MSN folks, uh, MSX folks, not MSN. We've got the Goonies here for the MSX. Don't come across that very often. 3,300 yen. That is a very Good deal in my opinion. I mean, the boxes are not great. I don't know if it has the manual, but 3,300 yen, that's so cool. Like, I might even just get this Twin B because I love Twin B. And that box art is so awesome. Look at that. Really cool stuff. There's Agerland. Is that also? Yeah, it is also MSX. Agerland. Wow, 44,000. Really cool artwork, though. Look at that. And uh, what is this? Makai no Shima, also on the MSX, 44,000 for that one as well, wow. Very cool though. PC Denjin, very cool uh, PC Engine Hue card game with the PC Genjin series. I think it's the third in the series, maybe it's the fourth, like a, kind of a spin-off I guess. But uh, Sexy Parodius. Oh, Oshaberi Parodius, excuse me. Kyoku, what is it? Jitsugyo. Jitsukyo. I think I'm saying that right. Oshaberi Parodius. And it's 11,000 for the Saturn. It's a really good shooter for the Saturn. Metal Slug also on the Saturn, 8,800. Awesome. Shoot 'em up, beat 'em up game. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And uh, what is this behind here? We got Sega Marine Fishing. This one I don't see very often. Sega Bass. Get Bass to another fishing game, I would imagine. Very cool stuff in here. Let's keep going with the uh, display case games because it's really interesting in here. We got, uh, what's that, Fire Emblem on the GameCube. 6,600 yen. Some really pricey Pokemons with the Pokemon Walker, nonetheless. They look very clean. The boxes don't look to have any kind of damage at all, but... We've got a Pokemon Gein. 
Soul Silver, and it comes with the Pokemon Walker. They've got uh, Heart Gold, and it also comes with the Pokemon Walker, but these are really beautiful boxes. I don't see any damage on the corners at all. We've got uh, Pokemon Silver for the Game Boy Color. 3800 a uh, very affordable price. Some Master System games. Alex Kid, 11,000, Outrun, 6,600, Space Harrier, 4,400. Some cute uh, Game Boy game in the tin, 4,900 for game, what is it, Bomberman 3. There's another Bomberman and Game Boy Wars for 4,900. I like these little tins, these are really kind of cool. I don't actually have any of them. PlayStation 2 games back here, they've got uh, The Ark of Nafetism, 3,800 for that. It looks like a Yeez game. Yeez, yeah it is. There's Pokemon XD for the uh, Nintendo GameCube. What is this interesting looking, like a boat racing game? You've got, uh, it's really expensive. 22,000 for that. Kyo Sen Wars Makuru 6. Never been opened. So that could be why it's so expensive. We've got Up, Up P. 8,800. That looks like a PlayStation game. It's UPP. Huh, I've never come across that one before. Now oh, here's that same uh, boat racing game that is not, that is complete, but it's not sealed. Okay. 6,600. So not a terribly bad game. We've got Hoaxdo no Ken. And I think this is an actually fun fighting type game on the PS2. And uh, Vampire Dark Stalkers. It's supposed to also be a really cool fighting game. Some Nobu Naga uh, strategy type games, I would imagine. Fantasy Star. Wizardry 1 on the P PlayStation. What is this? Vibe. Bibri Bon. Vibe Ribbon. 2300. What is that there? Hey, she. What is it? I am sorry, I cannot. Oh, that is. I don't know what it's called in English or in Japanese, but it is an old school Japanese anime, I believe. They have a model kit, and it looks like it's made by Bandai, but uh, on the PlayStation 2. I have come across that before. It has gone up in price a little bit, from what I remember seeing it as. I don't know what type of game that is, but uh, might be good looking into if you're a PS2 fan. Devil Samana. 3,300. Some Mahjong, I think. Hot gimmick ps2 soft what is this hot gimmick it looks like it says mahjong down there 3300 san andreas sealed not really interested in that what is this brothers to dinosaur brothers maybe on the mega drive for 6600 that seems like a pretty good deal for that dinosaur brothers 2 i haven't actually played it before though we've got choto q hg3 for the ps2 as well this is hard rock uh, on the PlayStation, Tokimeki something, Girls Premium, Tokimeki Memorial, I guess, yeah, that's what it said. PSP games, we've got the Star Soldier Collection, 13,000. Giren no Yabo, Akushizu, another Gundam game here, 6,600. Alright. Bunch of R types. I believe that is on the PlayStation, yeah. R type. R type S. R type S. 6,600. This one is 3,800. I'm guessing maybe it doesn't have something or it's got scratches. That's a huge price difference. Racing Lagoon. There's Rockman 5. I don't think I have that one. Excuse me, I do apologize. 
Rockman 5. I don't think I have that one. 2200 that's not a bad price. And we've got something there that resembles Capcom versus SNK. What is this? Narok Brok Kuzushi. So break the blocks kind of thing. Not sure what that is. But it is also PlayStation. All right. A lot of interesting games here. Go into the Wonderswan Color. Some Neo Geo games too. 16,000. Wow. Got Terrors and Restar for the Game Gear. Pretty expensive game. 33,000. Got a disc system game. What is this? Katobi Deshi or Jido. Jido? Not, I haven't played that before. Something Katobi Student. Game Gear for Momotaro Densetsu 3. Donkey Kong 3300. Dragon Warrior. This is a Game Boy game? Somebody has painted it or is it just a black shell? We've got Castlevania 12,000 for that one. Really? It is, what is it called? Noroi Tsuki no Mukyoku? Daikyoku? I'm not sure, I'm sorry. And I'm sorry, I don't know the Castlevania games' names so well. There's Goemon 2. I believe that has Goemon 1 and 2 on the uh, GBA, unless it's just a complete... No, it says Goemon 1 and 2. So I think those are the Super Famicom games, 1 and 2, all on one GBA cart. Which is kind of cool. Some various uh, GBA games here too. Oh, here we have just the Akuma Jo Densetsu, the booklet, 3,300. Some games I missed back there. Mother for the GBA, I think. Mother 1 and 2 for the GBA, and Mother 3 for the GBA. And what is that? Shiroi Kage? White Shadow. And Final Fantasy 2 for only 3,300 in the box. Pretty cool stuff. Haven't even looked in the junk yet. Well, this we did look in the junk last week. But we haven't even pulled out any of these drawers yet. Here's a uh, Fighting Commander. Look at that. All types of turbo on there. Everything you can imagine. Super Famicom. Here's a clear Xbox controller. Wow, that looks beautiful. 2,200 yen. That looks really beautiful. Wow, look at that. That thing looks really clean too. Some more controllers. There's an N64 controller, a thousand, thousand hundred. We. What else do we got? Ooh, Famicom stuff. We have a Nintendo purple controller. That is a pretty good deal for a clear purple for 1100 yen. That is nice. Got a set of Famicom controllers. These are actually two player two controllers. 3,300, they're kind of high price for that. They are in good shape though. We have a Game Boy camera, a green one. 2,750 yen. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? I don't know what that is. Here we got Game Tech Neo Fami Clone. It's just uh, AV out. 2,200 yen. I would not pay that much for a clone. It's not that one anyways. I think this is for a PlayStation adapter. Ooh, look at this cool thing. We have the RF switch for the Super Famicom. Look at that. 
Nintendo FF, Super Famicom. It looks just like the old school Nintendo one. Dobutsu no Mori. Look at all these GameCube games. Strikers. What is this? Koroke Han o Kiken no Oshie. 550. Donkey Kong Konga. There's lots. Zelda. Kaze no Takto. For 1650. Pretty looking game there. All right, I'm in the speed round right now, so I've got to hurry myself. We've been here for a good 20 minutes now, and we still haven't really broken the... We haven't gotten anywhere, it feels like. We got through the uh, display case for the most part, but uh, Darius Alpha for the Hue card. 500 yen for the little insert. That's nice. There's some really cool stuff here. Columns. Just random bits of junk in here. What are these? Oh, this is for that uh, Super Famicom um, player. It plays separate little ROMs. It's a Gundam one. I wonder if I can find a ROM for the... This might be for the Data Tech. I don't know. It looks like it's for Data Tech, but is it worth a thousand yen? So Dragon Ball Z. I think this is, yeah, this is Data Tech. I kind of would like to try it out. I might just have to pick this up. Because of last week's pickup. Oh, look, we got some Digimon stuff in here. There's so much cool stuff in here to look through. No time. Not enough time at all. I'm not sure what to do. Extend my stay here. Oh, we got Final Fantasy. Four thousand yen what is this master system game here pachinko 2 get out get out load runner for the master system look at that awesome artwork you just gotta love it here's an msx game doesn't have the box but it has the inner sheath this thing is sturdy is that how they always made msx games those boxes are sturdy wow I can't believe they put plastic inserts this tough. Konami Soccer for 1,100. Ooh, here we have uh, some FDS games. Tokimeki High School, 1650. Onigashima, 1,000. That one might be worth picking up. We've got uh, ooh, a Famicom game, Flipful, an exciting cube game. What is this? We got Top Golf for a thousand. Puyo Puyo. Joe Montana Football. 550. The disrespect for Joe here is, is sad. Look at that. Joe Montana for 550. That's really awesome. What do we got here? It's a Windows game. We've got Shogi for the MSX. 1100 really cool stuff in these pins oh we've got a master system game what is it not final fantasy fantasy zone 5500 beautiful artwork really beautiful artwork gear of wars 2 I, I spy PS, PC Engine stuff. Yes, look at that. I can't remember. I think this is a Mahjong game. I'm pretty sure this is a Mahjong. 550. Dreamcast. 1650 for Sonic Adventure. It's a little... It's in good shape, but... A little expensive. Grandia 2. 550. Man, that was heavy. Another Derby Stallion type game. Let's look through. I saw Daytona USA. Legend of Xanadu, 2750 by Falcom. This is a pretty good act. It comes with the Obi, looks like. Or has it been cut? The Obi might have been cut, but. Legend of Xanadu, I hear it's an interesting uh, RPG. 
Vampire Hunter on the Saturn July for the Dreamcast. Any other? There's Knights for 550. Lunar for 880. Oh, so many cool stuff. So much cool stuff in here. I don't see any more PC Engine stuff, but there is a ton of uh, Sega Saturn stuff. Here we got 880 for Vampire Hunter. What is this? Saturn Bomberman Fight. It's ripped. The insert is ripped. No insert on that one. Digital card library. Huh. What is this? Tomb Raiders. This is Dash. This is Human Sports Festival. I think that is a PC Engine game. It is. 550 for the Human Sports Festival. Here we got another one. Pawa Ring 88. Tokimeki Memorial. Here's a Sega. Some baseball. I do apologize for skipping over baseball. I'm not a big Mega Drive CD Feyeria. Beautiful artwork. Quiz Scramble. Mega Drive. So much cool stuff to look through. Not so much time. Wii stuff. We'll skip over Wii. Let's look into the Super Famicom stuff here. Sansara Naga. 2200 in the box. Interesting JRPG. This character is an interesting character. I think those are dragons? Lizards? I'm not sure. Samurai Spirits. Gradius 3. 27. What else do we got? Senken Densets. 1800. Any Ultraman in here? Do you guys see Ultraman? I see Final Fantasy 4. 1980. Ultraman, Ultraman. What is this? Oh, close. We've got Battle Soccer with all your favorite uh, Godzilla, Kamen Rider, and Gundam, and even Ultraman. We're getting close with Ultraman. Any Ultraman? What is this? Lord Monarch. Thousand Yen. Hmm. Dragon Ball. What is this? Yeah. 2200. Somebody was talking about Chibi Maruko. 1650. 1650 yen. Chibi Maruko there. Alright. Some boxed Game Boy games. Donkey Kong Land. F1 Race. Live League. The League Live. Taito, what is that? I forgot what this game was called. Space Invaders, yes. Ooh, what's this? Some interesting Famicom games. We've got Sugeban KG3. Interesting. I'd be interested in knowing what that's all about. All right, we've got Hino Tori. Another Tezuko Sama game from the anime. Jajamaru. Nothing too interesting. We got Gay Gay Gay, one of my favorites. Challenger, Quaz, and Bowling. Mario Bros. Oh, what's this? Queen something. We've got Dodgeball with Kunio. Valkyrie. Densetsu, I believe. There's some Goemon, the original Goemon. Donkey Kong Jr. Oh, Jaja Maru, the uh, space ninja here. I did pick that up quite a while back, I think in Akihabara, no less. So, awesome. Hercules, Rockman 4 for 1,000 yen. That is not a bad price. We got some golf here. Tom Sawyer, YY World 2, 1650, Rockman 3, 1650, Quoz, 
Ice Climber for a thousand. More Kunio Fire Emblem. Star Force. Some quiz thing. Pop, chalk and pop. Thousand yen. The quiz is gonna fall. Debius, Debius, Debius. And uh, Final Fantasy 3. Final Fantasy 3 was 1,100 yen. Oh, I just want to take a quick look at these here. We've got uh, Hoshino Kirby, Rockman XA, Monogatari Cat, some Pokemon, booklets, Makai Muda for 550. That's not bad. Pokemon Gold, Monster Guard Drymon 3. I think that's for Super Famicom. Jinsei Game, Yu Gi Oh! Yeah. Some Pachinko. Oh, we got Mappy on the uh, GBA. Pokemon GB. Oh, look at that. Dragon Quest IV. Inbox. 1,100 yen. That is pretty cheap because now they're going for a pretty expensive price. We've got Yoshi's Tamago. Yoshi's Tamago. We've got uh, Kunio. Hockey. Blades of Steel and Derby Stallion for 1100 Very cool. Game Boy games are going pretty good. About a thousand yen for each of the Pokemons. Red, green, yellow. They're all the same price. Not the best price. Rockman X2. Zelda. Thousand, Rockman X2, Beauty and the Beast, Momo Densetsu, Chinese, Super Chinese, Ranma, Tetris, Bomb Bliss, Yu Yu Hakusho, Street Fighter 2, Skoon, Guaman 2, Guaman 3, Thousand apiece, that's not bad, Monopoly, Treasure Hunter, Momo Densetsu, Slam Dunk 2, Oh, this is an interesting one. We've got, uh, what is that? Oh, I forgot that series. Uh, let's just read it. Sang the Great Battle 3. Great Battle 3. Great Battle is a good series. We've got Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon. That is the beat em up one. It's pretty cool. Thunder Spirits. Interesting uh, shooter. Rockman. Draken. Toroko Daiboken. I think that is a. Dr not Dragon Quest, yeah, Dragon Quest spin-off, Tiny Toon, 1100, Super Dunk Shot, I think that's Arch Rivals, and Bass Masters, Nintendo Puzzle Collection, here's a Jumper Pack for 880, a lot of stuff here, so much stuff, ooh, Tarzan on the PlayStation, X-Men versus Street Fighter, Got uh, Deca Keiji again, 38.50. We've got uh, Tengai Makyo, 5.50, complete. It is super yellowed, very faded. Tengai Makyo. Oh, we've got the Super System card for 5.50. It's a scratch on it. This is the CD ROM Super System card. Hmm, that is super cheap. We've got Yeez also for 1,000 yen. Lots of cool stuff here. What do we got here? Just random stuff. Go back to the PlayStation. Lunar, Spectrum, Chocobo, Namco Collection Volume 1, Draymon, Roadrunner, Let's see what we came home with. Starting off with this Detaku ROM for Dragon Ball Z, Gekito Tenkaichi Budokai. You know I had to get this because if you missed the last episode, I picked up the Datek joint ROM system. So I need this in order to test it out. It would be really cool if all these things work out, but that'll be in a future video. Big shout out to scruffy looking RGB crew members, 
your monthly support is very much appreciated. If anybody would like to help out the channel and would like to earn some exclusive membership perks, like getting to see exclusive content, such as member-only live streams, extra long cuts of game hunting videos, as well as getting membership badges next to your name in live chats, etc., please consider joining any of the scruffy looking RGB channel membership tiers. All the proceeds go to helping me purchase new mods and update video equipment to keep this channel running smoothly. When heading home, you want to make your way back to where you got on the bus and wait at the bus stand right here. If you don't have a Passmo, you'll have to grab a ticket like this. And don't lose it. Put it in your pocket along with the 200 yen fee that it's going to cost to get to Kashiwa Station. Go back up the stairs and you should be back where you started this trip. Hope this helps. If it did help you out and if you found some cool games, please consider sending some thanks. It would be much appreciated. I hope you all enjoyed today's part two of Hard Off Game Hunting and Bus Guide. What did you think of my pickups? Was the bus guide helpful to you or useful in any way? Let me know about it down in the comments. Well, that's all for this episode. Stay safe, everybody. But above all, stay scruffy looking. Who's scruffy looking? <laughs>